Hello, may I speak to Drew Weissman, please? Speaking. Oh, hello, this is Adam Smith calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize. Uh, oh, hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Many, many congratulations on the news. Oh, thank you. It must be very early there. How did you receive the call? Uh, yeah, I got, I got the call a little while ago. Uh, I, I got a call from Katie a little bit earlier. Okay, so she, she actually broke the news to you that you'd been awarded together. Yes. Gosh. We, we, but we weren't sure it was true. We, we thought maybe somebody was playing the joke on us. <laughs> Apart from slight disbelief, what was your first reaction? No, I mean, it, it's, you know, I, 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 it, it's a lifetime dream. Uh, and, and this is coming from somebody who doesn't work for or look forward to awards. But, you know, the, 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 the Nobel is, is the ultimate uh, a recognition of, of work. So, you know, it, it, it is a, a wonderful experience. Have you ever imagined yourself in this moment before? Um, you know, starting as a basic scientist and doing work in high school, it, it was always a dream, but I, I never imagined it would happen. Hmm. When I spoke to Katie earlier, she described your scientific conversations, you two very different personalities, but your scientific conversations as being very much alive, which I thought was a lovely word to use about the way you interact. Well, you know, so for, for the 20 years that we worked together before anybody knew what RNA is or cared, it, it was the two of us literally side by side at a bench working together and talking and discussing new data uh, well, we, we both have sleep disturbances, so usually around 3 to 5 a.m., we would be uh, emailing each other with new ideas. And, you know, so it, it, it was always stimulating. It was always, you know, we were always talking about science. Sounds a perfect partnership. And it also sounds like with your sleep disturbance, you're well prepared for <laughs> what today will bring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not sure. I know you're very focused on bringing RNA therapeutics to the world, and there are so many things you want to do with mRNA vaccines still to come. I guess the Nobel Prize might be a bit of a distraction. Alfred Nobel, I think, wanted to make things free from distraction for laureates by giving them some money to sort of get on with and to concentrate on their work. But how do you feel about the prize? No, I mean, so you, to me, nothing distracts me from my work. Um, I, you know, with, with this the, the the new notoriety that Katie and have, we've been traveling around the world for awards or discussions. I, I got back from Dubai on Sunday. Um, I was in Boston over la the last weekend. Um, headed to Thailand in two weeks, uh, but you know. None of it gets in the way of the science, and, and I still meet with everybody in my lab weekly, whether it's on Zoom or in person. Um, so, you know, th this just energizes us more. That's wonderful. It must be extraordinary to reflect on the fact that all that work led to, in the case of the pandemic, being part of this extraordinary effort to save millions of lives through the vaccines. No, I mean, that, that, that's incredible. We've actually started a new group um, that, that includes people like Paul Offit and Ayla Stanford and many others to combat vaccine hesitancy and misinformation and disinformation. Because as, as important as the vaccine is, if you don't take it, it doesn't work. Do you think the Nobel Prize will help in that fight? Well, you know, it, it's an interesting point. There's a large group of people who aren't sure, who hear these you know, crazy people spouting Nazi things about the vaccine, but they're not sure. And, and those are the people that still believe in science. And I think for those people, it will help. Mm. Such an important point. 
for now, may I ask, could you do me one favour, which is, and Katie's already done it, which is to send me a picture capturing this moment. I don't know if there's somebody close by you that could take a photograph of you or just take a selfie. Yeah, now my, my wife's got her camera going, <laughs> so I'll, I'll have her take a picture. Thank Hello. you very much. Hello. <laughs> How very nice. <laughs> well, w- w- what a happy day. It's, it's a real delight to speak to you. Thank you. No, thank you very much. Best of luck with the deluge of interest that's about. Yeah, no, I know. I'm I'm trying to find a disguise to wear. (laughs) I don't think it will work. Anyway, (laughs) many, many thanks and congratulations again. Great. Thank Thank you. you. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed hearing this call, don't miss our bonus episode where Adam Smith takes a turn as guest and we go behind the scenes from these very special moments. Find it on Acast or wherever you listen to podcasts.